three. Knock, knock, knock. Hi, my name is Amber. I'm gonna be the student nurse today. I'm gonna to be doing a thorough exam of your skin, hair, nails, and peripheral vascular system. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna just do some hand hygiene. And then I'm gonna be closing the curtain for some privacy. And then could you start by stating your full name and date of birth for me? Marcus Swain, May 20th, 1999. All right, and then do you know why you're here? Uh, you're Lee Chico. Um, Do you know where you are? Your house. Do you know um, today's date? September 20th, 2020. And then do you know who the current president is? Trump. Okay, awesome. So the patient is A no times four. And then I'm trying to check out your mail. So um, have you noticed any change in your skin, hair, nails, any concerns? Mm -hmm. No? Okay, so the capillary refill is less than three seconds. The nails are smooth. Um, the edges are slightly uneven. They are clean. Um, they're firm. And then the angle is less than 160, so it's negative for clubbing. And then the nail surface is smooth. It's regular. It's not brittle or splitting. Um, the thickness is uniform. And then um, the nail adheres firmly to the nail bed. All right, so then now I'm gonna um, examine your hair. So the color is appropriate for age. I'm just gonna be checking your scalp. So the texture is coarse, it's shiny, and it's thick. Um, it's, there's more hair on the top of the head than on the sides of the back. Um, the scalp is free of lesions. Of flakes and lice. The nape of the neck is free of lice. Alrighty. And then I'm going to assess your skin. So I'm going to start with your face. So the skin is warm, it's dry, it's smooth. The color is consistent with ethnicity. Um, the skin is firm and it's uniformly thin throughout. There was no present edema, and then the skin is elastic, so it's non tenting. And then I'm gonna move on to your arms. So the skin is warm, it's dry, it's smooth, um, it's firm. The color is appropriate for ethnicity. Um, the skin is uniformly thin throughout. There is no present edema, and the skin is um, elastic and non tenting. Uh, the patient does have um, three tattoos on the upper right arm. And then if I could just examine your chest and abdomen, if you could lift up your shirt. So the skin is um, warm, it's dry, it's smooth, it's firm, it, the color is consistent with ethnicity, and it's uniformly thin, there's no present edema, and then the skin is elastic and it's non tenting and then can I examine your back, please? I'm just gonna lift up your shirt. Okay, so the patient does have a large tattoo on the right shoulder. Um, the skin is warm, it's dry, it's smooth, um, it's firm, the color is consistent with ethnicity. Um, it's uniformly thin, there's no present edema, and then the skin is elastic, it's non-tenting. Um, you can lift your, or pull your shirt back down. Um, I'm going to assess your legs now. So the skin is warm, it's dry, it's smooth, the color is consistent with ethnicity, it's firm, the skin is uniformly thin. Let me check the back of your legs. Yeah, there's no present edema. And then the skin is elastic and it's non tending And then the skin on the feet. Um, so the skin is warm, it's dry, it's smooth, um, it's firm. The color is consistent with ethnicity. Um, the skin is uniformly thin. There's no present edema. And the skin is non tenting um, and it's elastic. And then there are one, two, three, four, five, six wheels on the left foot and then there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wheels on the right foot um, due to insect bites. And then the nails on the toes, um, they're smooth, um, they're a little uneven, they are clean, 
Um, they are firm on palpitation or palpation, and then they are the angle is less than 160, so it's negative for clubbing. And then the nail surface is smooth, it's regular, they are not um, like splitting. Um, the thickness is uh, uniform, and then the nail does adhere firmly to the nail bed. And then now I'm going to be assessing pulses. So I'm going to start with your radial pulses. Sorry, I'm going to move over here. So the radial pulses are two plus bilaterally. I'm going to do the ulnar pulses. So the ulnar pulses are two plus bilaterally on the brachioradialis pulses. They are two, uh, brachioradialis pulses are two plus bilaterally. And then I'm going to be doing the Allen test. So if you could um, squeeze your hand a few times to me when I tell you. Okay, and then the other hand. Okay, so the Palmar blush was less than five seconds. And then I'm gonna um, assess your lymph nodes. So, sorry, I'm gonna lean over. Is there any pain or tenderness as I do this? No. Okay, and then this side. No pain or tenderness? Okay, no. so there is no pain, tenderness, or inflammation. And then I'm going to move on to the pulses on the lower extremities. So for a femoral pulse, I would uh, assess about right here. And then I'm actually gonna do your popliteal pulses. So I'm just gonna lower your leg. Okay. So the popliteal pulses were two plus bilaterally. I'm gonna do the posterior tibialis pulses. There are two plus bilaterally in the anterior tibialis. Uh, two plus bilaterally. And then I'm gonna do home home sign or home sets. So I'm gonna be um, dorsal flexing the foot. And then um, do you feel any pain or tenderness as I do this? Okay. And then do you feel any pain or tenderness as I do this? So negative for Holman sign and clonus bilaterally, and then I'm going to measure the circumference of the calf. difference was less than one centimeter so that is normal all right thank you so much for letting me do this exam on you you have any other questions thank you okay. thank you